Though the film might involve the destruction of all humanity, Don't Look Up seems like it was a whole lot of fun for the cast to shoot. The Netflix dark comedy film brought together an incredible cast of talented actors like Leonardo DiCaprio, Jennifer Lawrence, Meryl Streep, Jonah Hill, Tyler Perry, Kate Blanchett, Ron Perlman under the leadership of comedic director Adam McKay. When you imagine all those personalities on set, you know they probably got up to some friendly shenanigans. But out of everyone who appears in Don't Look Up, the one person who seemed to surprise the cast the most with his off-screen behavior was Timothy Chalamet. The young star's Don't Look Up role in itself is already somewhat surprising, to say the least. You might be used to seeing him as the heroic Paul Atreides in Dune or a cool, comparatively serious character in historic dramas like The King and Little Women. But in Don't Look Up, he appears as Yule, a seemingly detached, shoplifting slacker who turns out to be a deep thinker with an unexpected affinity for religion. Of course, it should be noted that despite his general propensity toward more serious roles, there's far more to Chalamet than Oscar-bait dramas. As part of a four-year consideration cast interview, Jennifer Lawrence described how Chalamet showed a completely different side to him than what people would expect from someone who's known for more dramatic roles. According to Lawrence, the young actor was constantly cracking people up on set while filming scenes with them, she explained. Timothy gave us all so much comedic relief in this yeah. case because he was improving and was just killing Leo. Lawrence's character Kate and Don't Look Up meets Chalamet's Yule inside a supermarket where she works and later forms a bond with him. The two spend the majority of Chalamet's screen time together, with DiCaprio eventually joining them. In the interview, Lawrence describes a moment during filming when she saw DiCaprio struggle to keep his composure. And so I had to wait until they called cut, but I just saw Leo's face. Like he wasn't on camera, but his face was just bright red. And he like couldn't breathe. He was holding in a laugh. She continued. And I had to wait until cut to be like, what'd he say? What'd he say? <laughs> he would say the most random stuff it I've ever It was incredible. The fact that Chalamet was able to get one over DiCaprio like that is a pretty impressive achievement, considering that DiCaprio himself is a known on-set jokester. The people who only know Timothy Chalamet from his dramatic roles might be surprised by the fact that he's hilarious enough for Jennifer Lawrence to go out of her way to specifically mention it. However, those superfans who have followed Chalamet's career from the beginning are no doubt aware that the kind of deadpan comedy he unleashed upon his co-stars is well within the actor's skill set. After all, he plays the revolutionary youth Zephyr Ferrelli in Wes Anderson's The French Dispatch, and you don't get cast in a Wes Anderson movie without having a penchant for dry humor. It's also highly unlikely that anyone would get cast as Willy Wonka without plenty of kooky comedic sensibility at their disposal, considering that Chalamet will be the latest actor to make his mark by playing the eccentric candy maker in the upcoming Wonka, his comedic bona fides can't be ignored. And it seems that his comedic sensibilities aren't limited to just when the cameras are rolling. Per GQ, Chalamet's friend, filmmaker, and actor Greta Gerwig has confirmed that his offbeat sense of humor extends beyond the professional environment, too. She described talking with Chalamet, "...we can get on the phone and talk for an hour or more without even realizing it, just skipping from subject to subject, making jokes, me feeling old and happy, and him being funny and anxious and delightfully all over the place." Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite movies and TV shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.